Let's start with the big political news. Facebook and Instagram are ending the two-year ban they imposed on Donald Trump after January 6th and allowing the former president back on their sites. I mean, letting Trump back on Facebook is crazy. You're just asking for trouble. It's like letting Hannibal Lecter babysit your most delicious child. <laughs> It's putting it back online anyway, because they say that, quote, the public should be able to hear what their politicians are saying. And to that, let me say, quote, fooey. <laughs> Look, we all know Facebook is losing a ton of money, and they want that Trump attention back. They need a hit. Trump is their white lotus. <laughs> He's the Jennifer Coolidge of the internet. <laughs> yeah, I'm fun. <laughs> Look, but I think maybe for the first week, they should just allow him to only post cat photos. You know, <laughs> let's see how it goes. If you see a bunch of cats storming the Capitol, <laughs> although adorable, shut it down. Moving on to some tech news. You ever play that game where you ask, what if you could have dinner with anyone in history? Personally, for me, it would be Jesus, because my mother is watching. <laughs> well, the good news is AI is making this fantasy happen. The bad news is there's one name on the invite list that probably shouldn't be there. Meantime tonight, a new AI app intended to create interest in history is instead causing controversy. Historical Figures Chat was created by an Amazon software engineer. It allows users to select historical figures and have a conversation with an AI pretending to be them. People have been chatting with figures like Jesus, Babe Ruth, and now Adolf Hitler. Activists worry Hitler's addition will attract and encourage neo-Nazis. Why would anyone make an AI Hitler? That's the last thing we need. And we already have an app where you can hear Hitler's uncensored views. It's called Twitter. <laughs> and look, parents are already worried about what their kids are doing online. Now they'll be knocking on their kids' bedroom door like, Jeremy, you better not be in there talking to Hitler. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Because if you've ever been to a museum, you might have thought that the biggest problem is pretending you know what Baroque is. <laughs> $30 for a ticket? My Baroque ass can't pay that. <laughs> But it turns out there's even a bigger problem that's finally being addressed. The word mummy is being canceled. Museums are choosing to go with different terms, largely because of the pop culture view, which tends to portray mummies as monsters. So CNN says more museums are choosing to go with the term mummified person to restore the person's humanity. <laughs> I, wait, wait a minute. Let, let's be clear right off the bat. Mummies aren't monsters. It's only a monster when it gets the f up. <laughs> Just a mummy. Monster. But yes, they want to, they want us to be respectful. The correct usage is mummified persons. As in, why the hell do half our senators look like mummified persons? <laughs> If you ask me, the museums are making a big mistake here. Having a monster in the museum is the only thing that gets kids in the door. You think kids are coming to see them old-ass bowls? No! They're coming to see a mommy! And finally, Missouri is the latest state to consider a law banning critical race theory in schools. But that's not all. This law also offers teachers $3,000 to take a course in how to teach patriotism. Man, 
If I was a teacher, I'd be pissed. $3,000 for patriotism course? I, like, I knew this whole time y'all had money for school supplies. <laughs> I've been... You got me out here giving students pins that I ripped off the chain at the bank. <laughs> for more on this patriotism course, let's turn to Roy Wood Jr. You're gonna, you're gonna mess up my count. Hang on a second. Okay, all right, I got my count straight. What's, what's going on? Okay, I, I just want to know, what, what do you know about this patriotism course? <sighs> you know, what can I tell you about this patriotism course? I can tell you a lot about the patriotism course because I took it. You took the course? But, but, but it's for teachers. Why would you take it? For $3,000, shit. <laughs> I took the course 20 times. Look at all this damn money. I took the course as Roy Wood Jr., and then I went back as Roy Wood Sr., went back as Michael Jordan, Michael B. Jordan. All you gotta do with these white people, man, just tell them you one black dude, and then they believe you. I'm going back next week as Frederick Douglass. I'm... What's wrong with you? $3,000. Well, okay, well, well, did you learn anything? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I came out with a real appreciation for the founding fathers. Founding fathers like Ben Franklin. <laughs> Founding fathers like Andrew, Andrew Jackson, okay, too. Okay, no, no, Roy, I mean... I got a Jackson what, in there. Okay, look, what did the course teach you? It can't be that good if it's run by a bunch of Missouri Republicans. I mean, actually, I learned a lot. First thing I learned, I learned that Missouri is one of the most important states in our union. Oh, did you know, without Missouri, Iowa would fall into Arkansas. <laughs> And it would just be chaos. Just a big hole in the middle of the country. It's structurally important. Look, all Republican history is very interesting. It's very interesting. It's very interesting because I learned that Abraham Lincoln was assassinated by Hillary Clinton and... <laughs> and... Hold on, this, this, is, this is... I learned this. This was in the book. Now, I also learned Harriet Tubman. You know Harriet Tubman? He's really a white man. <laughs> You can't run from the truth. You can't run from the truth. Lord. Run it, run it. I'm telling you, I'm just telling you no, what man, I learned. Harry it like, was really a white man. It sounds like you learned a bunch of nonsense. Look, look, it wasn't all nonsense. I'll tell you one thing I really learned. We really do need to keep pushing for CRT because I think we finally found a way for Republicans to start giving more money to teachers. That's what we got to do. You keep them scared, they'll find more money for the teachers. I'm telling you right now, that's why I printed up these fake textbooks. I'm gonna start leaving these at all the schools. I'm gonna scare the hell out of these Republicans. They're gonna be giving all the money. Look at some of these subjects. Look at this one. This one. <laughs> AP reparations. That's scary. That's scary. You got a drag queen philosophy. That's a good scary book right there. That's a good scary book right there. We got AOCs, ABCs. Oh, that's a scary textbook. That's gonna get a lot of money. This is the one right here. Now, this is the one. This is the one gonna get them all. George Washington, our first non-binary president. I'm telling you. Okay, they, they, they're you. really not gonna like that one. No, they're not. They're not. Look, just, just wait until you read this book. You read this George Washington book and find out the truth. He chopped down that cherry tree and used the wood to make an abortion clinic. <laughs> Okay, this, this, is, ridiculous. this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Look, look, look. In this, in this, it, to, 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 this is history. It's not ridiculous. It's history. I read it in a book. You need to learn something about our country's real history, Wanda. I'm happy to teach you for $3,000. Roy Wood Jr., everybody.